Scott. Hey, Katie, you know, interesting thing. Uh, we had the zoo as well. We just didn't leave the house. I'm sure a lot yeah. of moms <laughs> felt the same way today, but hopefully you all got to enjoy a nice Mother's Day and let's say it together. What a day, what a day, what a mighty fine Mother's Day across southeastern Wisconsin. Here's a live look from our Waukesha County Tower Cam as we look to the northwest toward Pewaukee. Beautiful sunshine out there, just a few thin clouds. Kind of a hint of what's to come as we see the clouds coming in, topping our weather headlines. That's really not going to occur in earnest until most of us are sleeping tonight. Then we'll see some rain and rumbles roll through the area as we go toward tomorrow night and particularly into Thursday. Eventually, though, a fine finish to this upcoming work week. We'll show you the seven day in just a moment, but outside right now, our temperatures quite a contrast, a significant one at that. Look at this 54 degrees in Milwaukee and 69 flirting with 70 last hour it was 70 degrees in Watertown also in Beaver Dam throughout Dodge County flirting with 70 degrees. So you can see the enormous contrast taking place primarily because of this rather stiff easterly breeze off of Lake Michigan's cooler waters a baker's dozen miles an hour right now in Milwaukee and a 17 mile an hour wind right now in Waukesha. Those winds will die down more significantly as we go through the nighttime hours tonight. But just off to our west, 70, 74 degrees in La Crosse, 72 in the Twin Cities, 74 right now in Omaha, Nebraska. That warm wedge just off to our west, but it's being held at bay by this cool bubble over the Great Lakes. Out of light and radar combination showing the clouds just down to our southwest along with the storm system. That's going to be our weather maker as we approach the next couple of days. We've got this cool, dry breeze that's blocking that precipitation and cloudiness from making that much progress toward us. That's going to change, though, as we go into the day tomorrow. Clouds and rain will be coming our way across southeastern Wisconsin right now. Very peaceful conditions. And you can see the last couple of frames here, the clouds just kind of being eaten away by that dry air that's in place. Future forecast shows as we go into the day tomorrow, we'll start to see the clouds on the advance in the morning, a few spring in the afternoon, but a better chance of steady rain and perhaps some thunder as we head into tomorrow night. So your storm team forecast for tonight down to a mild 42 degrees, mainly clear to partly cloudy skies for tomorrow. A peak or two with the sun in the morning, then mostly cloudy. It's going to be cooler, our highs near 57 degrees with some sprinkles, and perhaps a shower or two later in the day. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast. We'll get ready to need the umbrella for sure as we head into Monday night and particularly Tuesday. Showers and storms likely remaining kind of cool for this time of year in the 50s. We'll dry out a bit on Wednesday, see more rain rolling our way Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then the fine finish comes our way. We get a bump up on Thursday to 67 degrees and sunshine returning by Thursday afternoon into Friday. We just have to get through the first kind of couple yeah. of days of the work week, and then things will improve. We can do that. All yeah. right. Thanks, Scott. You bet.